Well, I'm excited that you stomached my little introduction uh, with all its uh, ramblings. And um, our focus here is how to get you to start sharing your gifts. Or if you're already sharing your gifts, how to do it more widely um, or more often or whatever. I think there's a, a really powerful um, opportunity here. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to give you a quick overview of what we're going to do over the next seven days or if you want to just blitz right into it you can absolutely do that um, so you're going to watch this video hopefully and you're going to get a sense of what we're going to try to accomplish and then i'm going to ask you some questions uh, which i would love for you to respond to me with via email just so i can get a sense of where you are um, what you're uh, what you potentially what's sort of jumping up in your mind about what you might try to accomplish uh, but step one is going to be what are some of your goals and we'll talk about specific objectives and how you might benefit from sharing your gifts um, online. Uh, we'll talk about what materials you might have, uh, what you have noticed in terms of areas of demand, either in your, you know, in your current classes or elsewhere. Um, some target market opportunities, uh, specific types of students or types of parents that you might be interested in serving. And then also anything that you've seen out there that you like and you'd like to emulate. So that'll be start uh, sort of step one. And you can get started with that right now uh, and, and share with me your answers to these questions. Then next, um, we're going to look at what are the low-hanging fruit. The real goal here, in my opinion, is just to get started. Um, so what do you have that we can start to share? Is it an existing lesson? It might be an existing video. You might already have something. But maybe it's a, a, a lesson that you really like or a specific, you know, and I want to, I want to sort of emphasize this. It could just be a specific thing. I'm thinking about my child's Spanish teacher. Maybe it's just explaining feminine versus uh, masculine uh, in different languages or a specific part of speech or a specific uh, um, event in history or a specific concept. Not, it doesn't have to be a, a 25 part um, course, right? It could just be one three minute video where you explain something. Uh, and then share that. And then that can start to be the building block. So we're looking for what are the low hanging fruit. Um, maybe it's a diagnostic. Maybe you're not even gonna teach anything. You're just gonna ask questions. Um, or if you have a new idea that you wanna play out. Um, so what is it that would be sort of easy to start? We wanna focus on easy uh, and start sharing and then start. you'll start to see what you wanna do more of, what you wanna do less of, what there's an appetite for, what there's not. Um, again, this will kind of um, link into our your objectives, which I think is the next slide. So yeah, here's your why. Why are you why were you interested enough in doing this that you uh, registered? Well, maybe you're interested in giving additional support for your existing students. That's magnificent. It's a great way to start because it doesn't have to get you don't have to get caught up in how am I going to market it, how am I going to monetize it, uh, just I want to share more with my existing students. Maybe it's a situation where you would feel a lot more confident going into the market uh, to people who don't know you if you had feedback and testimonials and endorsements from existing students and parents. And in, in, in which case, you just one of your objectives is just to have an impact beyond your classroom. Maybe it's just a situation where you want to start to test out some of this existing technology, whether it's video or audio or screen captures or PowerPoints or animation or text to speech or speech to text transcription of your your lessons lots of different reasons to do it you might want to just see what it would be like to have an online school using a, a service like udemy or teachable um, maybe you have a clearer sort of business case for this you have a tutoring business a side tutoring business or you run a camp or you you really have the idea for doing a specific course and you just want to use this kind of a lead generator or a relationship builder. Fantastic. Um, maybe you have your own vision of something that you want to teach, and this is going to allow you to capture it and share it. Um, you might have a vision for a much more comprehensive program, something that's really detailed, and this will be the starting point. This might just be the, the first lesson. Um, and then, of course, if you're interested in an income stream, then we're going to talk about that in terms of how to get it in a situation where somebody might say, well, listen, this is worth $10 or $20 or $100 or $1,000 or what have you. So getting clear on what your why is is really powerful. And 
Um, I'm going to certainly seek to try to profile what some of the different whys are, but I'm following my own advice right now. Okay, I'm doing this as a starting point. If all we do is kick off a conversation, great. There will be room for us to really dig into profiles in the future, and that might be in person, that might be by phone, that might be via a webinar. Um, but right now, I just want to stir up the conversation. So then we're going to say, okay, we've got, uh, we, we have identified some low-hanging fruit. We have a clear idea of what our sort of first objective is. Then what's going to be the version one media that we're going to use? Is it just turning on your, your phone? I'm holding up my phone right now. That's bad radio, right? I'm a, you just turn on your phone in your class and capture one of your lessons. Or is it a situation where you turn on your audio recorder at home and you walk through a specific concept? or you take a PowerPoint or a whiteboard video and you just capture that. Um, so many different ways to, it could be a survey. Um, what's gonna be the media that you're gonna use to give somebody the opportunity to interact with you or to interact with your ideas or have you share stuff with them without you there? There are lots of different ways. They're all fairly easy, okay? Um, this is a power, I'm, what you're looking at right now is a PowerPoint, and then I have my earbuds plugged into my laptop, uh, and I'm just recording using a, a, a screen capture tool. And there are lots of free screen capture tools. Um, but, and you probably have access to the one that I paid for as an educator, okay? So then we'll talk about what's gonna be our version one sharing and support. You know, you've got your, you've created your video, You've created your audio, you've created your PowerPoint. How are you going to share that? Easiest thing, presumably, is sharing with your current parents and students, saying, here it is. Um, you can share with your past uh, parents and students. Something that just occurred to me, because I'm kind of working on how people who run, have electives could sort of get more people into their electives, you could share it with prospective uh, parents and students, just to have more classes in a topic that you're interested in. Um, we'll make it available at Fort Hunt Community. Um, there are also online forums for this, like Udemy or YouTube, and there's other places where parents can pay, I'm sorry, teachers can pay for things, but this is really parent-focused. So sharing it widely, Facebook, um, just generally YouTube, of course. Uh, then, then we'll talk about what would be a potential lead generation or sales funnel for you, meaning something very similar to what you did here. You saw a preview, the person registers, and then they get access to it. That's really what we're talking about. And then we can talk about how to get more people to visit it. But we wanna stay, and I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but we wanna talk version 1.0, because I don't want, oh, that's hard, I, I can't do that, or I don't have the time for that. We don't want something that's five, six, seven steps down the road to prevent us from doing something easy to start. I call that the princess and the pea fallacy, right? We don't want a, a, a pea below 27 mattresses to make us uncomfortable now. Let's just focus on one thing at a time and we'll deal with the next step when we deal with the next step. Hey, look at that. <laughs> it's almost as if I designed this, next steps. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna define, identify what are your targets, what is, what is the objective of this? Uh, what type of structure do you want to use? If it's just a lesson plan that you've done, then you already have it built. Uh, we'll schedule the recording in the, either the audio or video, and then we'll implement our version 1.0 sharing, and then we'll review it and improve it. And we can share it amongst us. One of my goals here is to have a community of educators who are sharing their content and giving feedback. Hey, that's a great piece of technology that you use to jazz that up or something interactive where you can solicit feedback or, hey, that's a great tool to be able to take your PowerPoint and your audio and your video and your supplemental materials and have that packaged into a handbook, which we'll talk more about how to add value, not just financial value, but also so that the person who takes the, who sort of engages with your content gets more value out of it. And then we'll talk about after we review it and improve it, we'll talk about what would be version 2.0 and does the objective change? Uh, are we still looking at this as just a, a gift? Is, are we looking at it as a, a step in a ladder that that's people are gonna to use to get more information and more interaction with you? Um, and either way is fine. So what I'd like for you to do now 
is sort of a head start on step one, which is just sort of introduce yourself to me. Tell me what you are trying, what, what sort of stir is stirred up in you, what you'd like to see. And this could be what you'd like to see as an end game and then where you are sort of how you're situated right now uh, in order to start. And we can engage in a dialogue and, you know, sh uh, full disclosure, I'm going to use you to help me improve this process, just like you're going to use your parents and your students to improve your content. Um, so I'm going to use you to, to make this more valuable. And there will be, I'm sure at some point, because I like money just as much as anybody does, there will be a, a, a product or a program that's available for purchase. But much like I'm encouraging you to do, do something easy first. This video took me exactly as long as you're watching it to produce. And it's going to take another 10 minutes for my computer to render this into a video. And then it will be there. And I can either let this be a standalone and I never touch it again. Um, or I can build it into something else that I want. And that's how I want you to think about your teaching as well. Uh, you know, you don't, it doesn't have to be perfect, fully elaborate. If you guys, I'm sure everybody is familiar with Khan Academy, those first Khan Academy videos are absolutely horrible in terms of production values and everything. And it led to, uh, you know, a really in awesome and incredible um, forum for teaching all over the world. Uh, there's no reason in the world that you can't help somebody outside of your classroom today with the stuff that you're already doing inside of your classroom. And we absolutely are going to talk about how to make sure that it's worth your while in all of the different ways that I referenced in my introduction. So without further ado, I would love for you to um, take the information on the screen, um, answer these questions that I just posed to you, and email me and then we'll sort of get started in our conversation and then you will begin to get a, a week i'm sorry a daily uh, email for the next seven days uh, with follow-up questions follow-up videos follow-up uh, instructions etc so that we can get to this point here step seven and next steps